Hello everybody, this is Summers Woodworking and we're working on a router table. What I ended up with was a piece of quarter inch plywood and what it was was 26 inches long by 22 inches wide. And what I did is I cut it in a section of what uh cut it in a section of 11 and a half inches. And what I did was is I cut me 8 inch squares for the insert plates. And what I did was I I put on this plate here that goes to the router lined up the holes, drilled them, and then made my size of uh, hole I want for my router bits. And that's basically what it's going to look like. What I used was an inch and a half hole saw, inch and a quarter hole saw, and three eighths uh, drill bit. Inch and a inch and a half is for the bigger bits. Inch and a quarter is for the medium sized bits, and the three eighths bit is for the smaller bits. And as you can see. It'll come out of the hole just like so. And what I'm going to end up doing is, is on the flip side of this, I'm going to use three inch, two and a half to three inch strips all around this border here. Just give it some more support. And then I'm going to build a table well, not a table. I'm going to build the frame for this tabletop. And we'll go from there. Yeah, I completed my table. Now, I didn't want to show you a bunch of cutting of uh, cutting of the lumber. Everybody knows what it looks like when you saw lumber. But anyway, I'll give you the measurements. The top here was 26 and a half inches from that edge to that edge and the width wise is 11 and a half inches uh, the insert plate that I made there I made it 8 inch by 8 inch square and the top itself is made out of quarter inch plywood and the legs here if you can see them they are 36 inches long and uh, thickness of the stock was two and five eighths inch by inch and seven eighths and the bottom shelf there that I made uh, I used stock of three quarter inch and the measurements lengthwise is eleven and a half inches and they're three and three eighths inches wide and I did about six of those and it's 15 and a half inches up from the floor. And this is what it looks like underneath. I supported it on the edges so that's what's holding the insert plate nice and steady. Sorry for the shakiness. My shop is so small I don't have room to really set up a tripod to show you this. One thing I did want to show you, you see how the switch is on the bottom there? Well, after you do the height adjustment, 
that thing will turn. So you'll be fishing around for power. Luckily, my shop is equipped with the switch. So all I have to do to shut off to turn on and off the power is and that's what I got so far I like this because I can just turn that on And since I have a fixed, uh, a fixed, well, not fixed base, what I'm trying to say is, is, since it ain't variable speed, I'm going to get one of those uh, control, speed control knobs for this router. Then I can adjust my speed for lower speeds for the bigger size bits. What I'm trying to say is, for bigger bits, you need lower speed, so I gotta get me one of those speed controllers. And that's pretty much it for my router table. I still gotta build a, a fence for it. And uh, as soon as I get that fence done, then this is my cheaply made router table. <laughs> this will have to do me until I can afford to get the materials that I want to build one like Steve Ramsey's over at Woodworking for Mere Mortals anyway yeah he's got a real nice table but to me this is free I got all the wood from pallets so it's reused recycled <laughs> however you want to put it anyway that's all